hi guys. So, I'm filming this for the second time. I'm gonna go through all my makeup today. Basically, I've got all my Ikea drawers. You know the Ikea drawers. I don't have to tell you the Ikea drawers. The stereotypical makeup Ikea drawers. This from my last look. So I get a thing like this. This is from Ikea. It's like a, a little cage thing. Don't know what it's called. A shelf? A, I just want to call it a cage because it looks like a cage. So it has one, two, three, four sections. So I have my eye makeup in here, and then my powders, um, lip products and brow products, and then foundations, concealers, liquid products. Kind of organised in like that, so when I'm doing a makeup look, I can literally just shove it underneath, and then I can put it on the top of my desk. And that's what I do to keep nice and organised, so there's makeup in there. And I've got this as well. This is a box of new makeup. I just like to keep my new stuff separate so that I'm using it, like I'm consciously using it. I'm absolutely right not in this room as well because my room is tiny and because like the ra radiator is literally next to my bed, it like stores heat in my room. It's like, basically it's right out of my room and I'm wearing a jumper but I think it looks cute. Like the aesthetic, I'm not gonna take it off. I bought this and an orange one, I've got it on my um, Instagram story. I hit 50K on Instagram, yes. I went, um, to Evanesse to get some treats for myself. Anyway, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna insert that clip now of my makeup drawer so you can guys can see it. This is my colorful gems and yeah, there's some toilet paper there because I'm gonna clean my makeup. Don't judge. Um, pearls, gems, uh, rhinestones, more rhinestones in different shapes, more rhinestones, paints, sounds like real paints. Sheen paints. Oh, here, I didn't show you guys this. This is my P. Louise paints. Um, two rooms in the thing I just used. And this is the bases. And then my favourite lip liners, eyebrow pencils, that kind of thing. This is my foundations, concealers, any cream, liquid products I use for my face will be in here. It was a, it was organised. I've run out of room. This one is all my powders. So this one looks quite organised. Um, but you'll see underneath in a second, the last drawer, why this one looks so organised. It is all my face palettes, eye palettes. There's not all of them in there. I'm running out of room again. And then in this one, we have lipsticks mainly, lip liners. Um, and then just like eye... I want to say eye decoration, but they're not eye decoration. Like um, liquid glitters, glitters, pigments. Again, liquid glitters. It's like half eyes, half lips, basically. Such a mess, I can't even deal. This, oh, and that's not even supposed to be in there. That's what I mean. That's an eyeshadow palette. This drawer is full of all my eyelashes. And as you can see, it's just a mess I need to sort it out. But it's probably the worst one out of them all. So this is just the... I've just got no room for it, so I'll put in this jar, basically. This is all my main eyeshadow palette. So kind of a extra large pro. Um, I need to use that one more, the Sample Beauty Painter palette. Um, I just... Carnival palette's my favourite. Carnival Love to Heat. Uh, the, I actually use this one that much either. I'm really picky with my eyeshadow palettes. I don't like... Um, certain eyeshadow formulas but some again lashes that i haven't used uh more eyeshadow palettes what the hell is that oh they're temporary tattoo oh, i don't even know oh as you can see i've got a lot of makeup it is a mess i need to sort it out so i'm gonna start off with concealers random but it's the first thing that i, I just picked up basically the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer love this to death and i'm not gonna lie I've had this for two years. I don't know how the hell I've not run out of it yet. What else have we got? We've got this um, Il Maquillage one, which I actually used for quite a while. I like the colour of it though. I think, what, what colour have I got? Zero Free. I need to use this again. I've only used it like a couple of times. So yeah, I'm gonna put everything into, into a pile of things that I regularly use and things I hardly ever use, because I'm pretty sure there's some concealers here, which I even use on camera and I bought them to use on camera, like Aldi makeup and stuff. So, Makeup Revolution concealers, Conceal and Define. I've got a lot of these because I use these. I use C5 as an eye base, always. And then I've got C6, C6.5, C5.7. C so I've got those as well. 
got sent those. I love them. I love the consistency of them. Then I've got this. I've not used this for a while. Now this is the Barry M Concealer in the shade 4. So I got this mainly just to use like when I'm using, I think it's because I'm pale. When I'm tanned I like to use like a slightly darker concealer as a base um, for my eyeshadow basically. But I'm just too pale to use this. I remember using it the other day and then I did a smoky look and I thought it looks too dark on me. Like it just looks too dark so I can't use this until like I'm tanned basically. I've been loving this and I've just realised I've probably got any left. I like to use this. I like, I like to use like a concealer I just use to like make my foundation lighter and stuff. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I've got two of these. Oh in fact I forgot about this. This is the Makeup Revolution Infinite Concealer. This is in C8. I love the, con I love the like smell of them as well. The concealers. I use that when I'm more tanned, so I'm not, I'm not currently using that either. The Hydrate ones are really nice, but underneath the eye, not as a base. Don't like them as a base, it just doesn't sit on my skin as nice. I've got X on my eyelids, it's not as cute. Then I've got these. Um, I need to use these again. This is the Aldi Radiant Concealers. Um, they're supposed to be like the NARS ones, like the NARS Creamy Concealers. I need to use these. Why am I? I just keep asking myself now, why the hell have I not used these? That's what I mean. I just put them into the makeup collection and forget about them. So I need to try that out. Next Born to Glow Concealer. Love this. I need a lighter shade though. It's a nice lightish shade. I don't really like the applicator that much. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the whole sponge thing. I think it's really un unhygienic. Well, I, I don't mind it, but like I, I have it in my makeup kit as well for my freelance. I just think it's just like, I don't know if I should take the sponge off because then some people rip the sponge off and it's just like obviously a little squeezy thing. I feel like it soaks up so much product, that's why I'm like, hmm. The nicest creamy full coverage concealer from the drugstore. Like it's full coverage but it's not ridiculously full coverage, like it covers everything you need. This is way too dark for me, I'm pretty sure my friend gave me this. Yeah, my friend gave me this and I'm like, well I could use that because she was like, I'm going to give it away and I thought, oh, I'll use it. Is no, I cannot use that as a cream contour. What was I thinking? Now, this is what I use as a cream contour color. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I swear to God. So, these are the all covered concealers by Inglot. Love, love, love these. I was gifted these as well. They're very full coverage, really good consistency. I've got the shades 104 and 109. Love 109 because it's like more of a bronzy kind of color. You can see next to my skin like it looks like a bronzy color it's not a contour ashy kind of color it's just like a bronzer so and if you've got a foundation basically that's too light pop this on and blend it into your foundation it'll just bring that warmth back to your foundation because when the foundation is too light it just doesn't look okay it does not no not for me <laughs> i actually love this to death and i didn't expect this this is the catrice true skin concealer this is waterproof it's got hydraulic acid in it. I look what it does when I open it. Where is it? It just shoots. <laughs> I love the applicator of this. It's like so flexible. Like I don't know if you can see, it just moves so easily. Oh god! <laughs> I love that for the like really really inner corner of my eye. Beautiful liquid concealers. My perfect color. Primark ones. Now don't really use this one. I bought them because John Luke's gonna use them. Sorry of my life. Um, this is the chai colour. Now this, for a cream contour, cream bronzer, is so nice. The only thing is, same what Jordan Newt's like said, you have to like go in a couple of times to get the product out. The stopper on this or something, it doesn't get a lot of product out at once, which is kind of good when you're limiting yourself, but I have to keep dipping in and I'm like, oh my god, this is ridiculous. I don't, I don't think it's a lot, but it's two pounds, so you can't be mad. And then I got this lighter colour in Cool Sand. I don't really use this. I don't know why I don't use this, to be honest with you. Like, it's quite a good, it's a medium concealer. It's got vitamin E and aloe vera in it as well. It is definitely a medium coverage. That's why I like it as a cream contour, because it's like not full, full coverage. Like. The Inglot one's full coverage but it works well, but like normally when it comes to cream contour, I want something a little bit more, just a little bit more sheer, like medium, not full coverage, just so I've got time to blend it in and stuff. This one is darker than that. So this is okay to be full coverage because I can blend it out because it's, it's lighter. That one, if it was 
full coverage and that dark. I don't think I'd find it hard to blend it out, basically. And then I've got this one. Um, it's a concealer, but it's an eye base at the same time. Be Perfect Perfect Prime. Yeah, I like this. I just wish it had a different applicator, but I can't matter. I literally just... I don't use the applicator to like blend it in. It's too skinny because I'm, I think it's just literally just because I'm used to that, like the difference in between those two. I have quite a lot more foundations than I used to have. I'll start off with MAC foundation. So MAC face and body look, I've got none, none of this left out. Like, I literally use this on my body all the time. It is such a nice foundation for summer. Maybe not if you're oily, but I'm combination so I can kind of get away with it. It does like oil up throughout the day and stuff, but this is the thinnest foundation ever. It, it, heat, like, it heats up in your hand, it gets thicker in your hands as you're going like this. Right in the colours C2 and C4, use C4 more than C2. I just kind of mix in between them kind of thing. This is, it's just so nice, honestly. It's so lovely. It's literally just a sheer wash of colour. It basically just goes over your skin tone and it evens your complexion out rather than covers blemishes or anything. This was my go-to foundation when I used to work at MAC. Studio Fix Fluid. Now I feel like everyone's tried this once at least, even though like in a sample pot. My go-to colour was NC37. NC37 was the most, like it is the most beautiful colour. It's just such a nice, like obviously yellow toned um, found. It's like a fake tan colour, like your fake tan. This is the colour of fake tan. We've got these. I love, love, love these, but this is a mixing foundation. So I mix this with another foundation. This is the Primark Matte Foundation. As you can see, I love this one more. This is my second bottle of it as well. This is the colour Toffee. This is the Matte Foundation, natural medium coverage, matte finish, oil free. Love those words. It is like a really thick consistency, like it pumps out like not like KBD Beauty is like full coverage one, like that is literally like cake butter. But this one's like quite thickish. It's like quite like a cream feel to it, like it pumps out and it's like really creamy. And then they've got the shade nude, so I mix these two together sometimes to make a light colour. But then I like to get this one in it as well, and that's three pounds guys. So when Primark opens back up, I'll have a list for you basically. This is the ordinary oh my god. I haven't got any of this left either. I've been using this the whole 2020, literally. This is the Ordinary Serum Foundation, not the full coverage one. I like to use this to mix in my, this is like a happy coincidence, basically. I mix this with my foundations to make it look lighter because this is too light for me. It's not it's probably the same color as my skin, but I'd use dark foundations. <laughs> kind of a little shade for a with that. But um, <laughs> I've been watching too much track race. This is the 2.0N, light, medium, neutral. SPF 15 as well. This is amazing for mixing your foundations because it doesn't add coverage. It kind of shears them out a little bit um, and makes it lighter for me because it's a lighter colour. The Il Maquillage Foundation, this is too dark for me. I picked my summer colour. The Woke Up Like This Foundation, I've got mine in the shade 100. I was matched to the shade 60. It is a nice olive undertone. Do you know when you go on a website and it says like, it literally says olive tone, pink tones, neutral. Olive tones, it is olive toned. Sometimes I'll go online and it'll say, this one's olive toned. You'll order it, it'll come, it's pink. I see why so many people obsess over this. I've got this as well. They don't do this anymore. They do the new active wear one. I need to try that one out. But I need to get the right shade this time. Um, this is the Maybelline Superstay. Um, this is the 36 Warm Sun Colour. Uh, this is still a little bit more neutral in my eyes. It's not, I want a little bit more of a yellow hint in there. Just a little bit of yellow. Not like olive dark yellow. Just just a little, little bit of yellow. That's all I need. And then this is the best glowy medium coverage foundation. Looks like, kind of like Charlotte Tilbury vibe. Or, I'm trying to think, Charlotte Tilbury vibe or something else. Oh, NARS Sheer Glow vibe. But it gives you more coverage, I think, this. Um, this is the Maybelline, I've never actually tried that foundation so I can't really say that. This is the <laughs> Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. Full coverage, lightweight. It is full, to, it's medium to full, you can build up to full, definitely. I've got mine in 220 Natural Beige. The colour range in these foundations are amazing. I wish the colours in these were the same as these. And then we've got these two here, these are my newest foundations. Again, Inglot gifted these. These are the all covered foundations. I've got the shade MW005 and MW005. 
Uh oh, second, so medium warm. Yeah, medium warm. So this one will suit me more in the summer again. And then this one's a little bit more. This one's warm, but it's more neutral warm. And this one is definitely warm. So, and I love the consistency of these. So amazing. Um, the coverage is amazing. Everything just looks so nice and soft on your skin. So I definitely recommend you guys trying those out. I love these foundations so much. This is the Too Faced Balm Spray Foundation. I've got it in the shade Vanilla, Golden Beige, and Sand. Now, Golden Beige is the most beautiful colour. It's like NC37 MAC. That's why I love it to death. It's like, that's the f that, my, that is my perfect foundation colour. Then we've got the NARS Foundation. This is my most expensive foundation. Um, I got it from Look Fantastic, but I got 20% off it, so that's all right. This is the, what is this? The Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I wanted to try this out for ages. I asked someone about it. Someone said it was too oily for him. So then I didn't try it. Two years later, now I'm trying it. <laughs> this is in the colour Stromboli. Again, it's such a lovely, lovely colour. And when I have got fake tan on it, matches me. I'm going to quickly talk about any stick products that I have. The L'Oreal Infallible Stick Foundation. So, don't sell this anymore. I was absolutely gutted because it's so lovely. It's more of medium coverage, but I've moved on from this now because I don't sell it anymore. Well, not in the UK anyway. Then I went on to this. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick F13. I feel like everybody uses this colour. Um, I started using it this time last year. Loved it to death. It's definitely more of a neutral colour still. So it's definitely a cream contour colour that. If you want cream contour, that. If you've got a cream contoury bronzy effect, this one. This is the Primark My Perfect Colour Foundation Contour Stick in the colour Chai. £2.50. It's such a lovely caramel bronzy colour. I love it to death. The formula of this is amazing for cream contour, so you need to pick that up if you see it, because it's £2.50, you can't go wrong with that. There is the colour toffee as well, but chai is literally the, the colour. I got this blush sticks from Colourpop. I was gifted this. I picked the colour, what is it, Mic Drop. And this is such a lovely consistency. It's not too much, it kind of fades out perfectly. It just is so, so nice. I love it to death. I'm getting more into my cream products, as you can tell, very slowly, but surely. I've been trying to use the um, P. Louise paint, the orange one. I think it's OTT, yeah, OTT Orange. A little bit of that as a blush, and it looks amazing, so I cannot wait. Oh my God, guys, I won the P. Louise competition, so I've got a massive parcel on its way. So I'm gonna do a video on that as well, um, showing you guys all the goodies I get. I'm so excited, I'm so proud of myself as well. And thank you guys if you did like the video. Thank you. Now we're on to primers. I told you guys this would be a long ass video. First primer I want to talk about is the first primer I was absolutely in love, obsessed with. Still used to this day, but not as much. This is the MAC Strobe Cream. It's not actually a primer, it's a moisturiser, but the, if you get to get it, get in peach light. It is the best glowy primer ever. This has got like a wet look plus an illumination, like a brightness. Like it's got light reflect. Refre <laughs> right, it's got right. It's got light reflect. No, light reflecting particles in it, so it makes your face brighter. And it is one of a kind. I'm not gonna lie. If they ever discontinue this, please God no. I will cry. Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate smells amazing, like the Physician's Formula Bronzer. If you smell that, it smells the exact same. Heavenly coconut holiday vibes basically um this is so good for hydrating your skin doesn't matter what combination dry oily you need hydration in your skin it gives a little bit of that wet glow look to your face like it looks like um not water on your face but after you've just washed your face and you feel like you've just got a little bit of like natural glow to your face that's what it does, and I love that. Then moving on to, this is my brand newest, brand newest? Yeah, newest primer. This is the Be Perfect Perfection Primer. This smells amazing as well. It comes with a pump as well. Oh, like vanilla, cupcake, heaven. That's what it smells to me like anyway. Um, this is amazing because it's matte, but it's not drying. Dry skins can use this and it's fine. It smells like a smoothing primer, but it is, it's not like that silicone stereotypical feel. It feels a little bit like that, but it's different. It's almost like the like similar to the Benefic Benefit Professional, and you can get 20% um, off using code BLEND20, so you can get this for £10.36 instead of 12 95 which is absolutely amazing for a primer, and you get 35 mils in that, so 
Definitely worth a try. Glow Boosting Primer from Primark, £3. I literally got this because I just wanted a primer to whack on my face that was like hydrating, but then I won't care about like wasting it. So I was literally using it almost like every single day for my makeup and I didn't want to like, I wanted to put a primer on still because I wanted my foundation to look nice, but I didn't want to waste primer because I know I was going to take the makeup off straight after. And then I got these other two Primark highlights. <laughs> what? Then I got these other two Primark primers. That's Primark primers. <laughs> um, the Radiant Primer and the Strobe. So the Strobe is very... Why is it wet? Oh no, it's just cold. Oh. This is most like the Strobe Cream. I was like, find it, trying to find a dupe for it basically. This is more illuminating. Like if I show you on the back of my hand, I don't know if you can tell or not. They're in different colours, you can tell it's more illuminating. It's got more like a... It's more like a liquid highlight in my opinion rather than a primer but it just says it literally just says face and body highlighting cream so that is what it is and it's got a little bit of like tiny specks of glitter in it that is the closest to the max strobe cream don't really use them that often if i'm going to use one or the other i would use the radiant primer i actually use this that much as well i need to use this more this is the avon times by lisa armstrong this is supposed to be like um bobby brown's face base and i have used it but i just don't think i don't know why i just don't think it's I think it's more for dry skins. Quite similar. I just don't... It smells better than the Bobbi Brown one. It's not as strong because the Bobbi Brown one is so strong. The Il Maquillage No Filter Primer. This is definitely like a silicone primer. I love Il Maquillage packaging like I said. I don't use this too much because I don't really go for a matte skin and if I am now I'll just use the Be Perfect one so but I'll probably use it again. I just don't want it to go to waste. And I've got this um, Essence Prime and Studio Hydrating and Refreshing Primer. This one's got kind of like a white cast to it. Like it's it's a really different primer that I've used. Like it's like almost like an SPF. Can you see it's, can you see a little, like a little bit of white cast? It's still thin and stuff, but it's not my favourite primer that I've used. But I, de I definitely want to keep this for a full face of Essence. Um, makeup because I've got some more bits in this um, little box here to try out. I ain't tried yet. And then I've got this as well. This is not a primer. I mean, it's an eye primer. Um, this is the P. Louise base in shade Rumor or shade 2, the original one. I got it in 50ml because I was obsessed with this. Um, and then after my eye reaction, I never really used it that much. So it's kind of gone to waste a little bit. I use it every now and then. I use it for the, I'm pretty sure I use it for the P. Louise um, competition video. Now, oh, next one to powders. Then move on to bronzer, blush, and highlights. So, powders. I don't actually have that many powders. Oh, I've got this new one though the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Found Foundation Powder. Yeah, foundation powder. Why do I think this color would match me? It's too dark for me. It's absolutely unlike any other powder foundation I've tried. I've, I thought MAC Studio Fix powder was the best powder foundation but she's more full of coverage. So the Maybelline Fit Me powders I've got it in a couple of shades. I've got it in, as you can see that one's my favourite one, it's got a massive hole in it. 110, that's what I use underneath my eyes. Obviously I do use a dark foundation. Um, this one is it's, it's alright the translucent one but I still find that it gets a white cast so I like to go in with this so it gives a little bit of like, you can tell what I mean, like it's still light, it gives a little bit of a yellow undertone to my eye so it's like a brightening effect. Then for all over my face, if I'm pale, 128 and then if I'm tanned, 250 but to be fair, I think this one's a little bit too neutral for me. Those powders are absolutely amazing, literally. They're so cheap as well, I feel like it's six pounds, like 5 99 Now we've got some MAC ones here from my MAC days. Studio Fix in NC30. Love that tip. It's a nice universal one. It kind of, you can darken up your foundation with it or lighten it up with that. That's a really good foundation powder. Love it to death. Got a really good coverage to it. Um, and then NC42 as well, where I'm really tanned. And this is the, I actually haven't used this in a long time. This is a really nice um, powder for drier skins um so if you want to look glowy but you want to powder your skin basically this is the water weight um powder from mac it is so creamy and i love it got this number seven one and i used this because someone said it was like the charlotte tilbury one i think i got the wrong color this is the color medium to dark finishing powder it's supposed to be translucent um i just i don't know i think it looks nice but i just 
it's not my kind of powder and i've got this this is the beauty bakery flower powder in yellow i'm pretty sure i used a different one i think i got this one oh bloody hell yeah i used the banana one or something oh the, oh, the translucent one i love that one the yellow one um i use when i'm really really tanned then this is the god <laughs> What was that? <laughs> if you haven't tried this, it's absolutely amazing. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Love this. I see why it's worth the hype. I haven't even gone down it that much, to be honest with you. Like you do get a lot of products. I don't think I don't think anyone mentions how much you get in this because I know everybody complains about the price. So people complain about how expensive it is and how much of a ripoff it is. Or you have the opposite end of people being like, oh my god, you need it. You haven't tried it, you need it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm one of the people like, you need to try it. Oh, I've got this as well. The Rimmel Powder. I don't love it, I don't hate it. It's just a bit like, mm. it's good for the price. I just, I just don't ever use it. I've got this liquid highlighter from ages ago. This is the Makeup Revolution one. I don't really use it that much. I think there's too much glitter in it, personally. That's in light champagne highlights first so newest one i've got this is the be perfect get wet this is in soft silk it's it's unlike any so it's like a wet touch to it and you, know, you can use it on your finger it's got the most amazing sparkle to it i can see that or not i'll put a tiny bit on me the most amazing sparkle to it it is like a jelly cons not a jelly consistency but it is wet like i don't know how to describe it but I need the pink one in this because, oh my god, this one's so nice. This is a couple of years old. Primark Gold Digger Highlight. I had to buy one for my kit because literally, I would not, like, I would just continuously, this is £2.50, I've got the price on the back still, £2.50, I would religiously use this for my chest. With a big brush and just put it all over my chest. When I worked at Mac, I was like, oh my god, your chest looks amazing. It's such a good body highlight. It's obviously good for your cheeks and stuff, but this is my favourite bo body highlight. Like, this is my absolute favourite. It's £2.50 and I'm pretty sure they still sell it because normally when things come in Primark, the here and the gone. Talking about that, this is one of them things. They had a Christmas collection one year. I'm pretty sure it was like two or three years ago. Oh, I love the consistency of that. This is the um, Double Dimension Highlighter. It's trying to copy Mac, I'm not gonna lie. It's in the shade Goddess. So if there's ever a highlight in Primark or Goddess, it's this one and it's so lovely. So this is um, a highlight from XX Revolution. I'm blending you guys. This one's called, what's this? Strobe. I actually want a strobe. Um, I ordered a different colour and this came instead. I don't know if you can see that on my skin. But this is such a lovely colour. It's like unlike any other found, like foundation. Unlike any other highlight I've had. It's so creamy to say it's a powder. Like it just looks like, like a creamy highlight on your cheek. And that's why I love it so much. I was gifted these. These are the Look and Lash Beauty highlights. The only thing with it, you would laugh at me. These are too light for me. Like they're just, I wish they were a tiny bit darker. The peach one's my favourite. But that's still like, it looks dark and then you look at it like that and that's, that is light. Like that is really light. But like, can you see what I mean? Maybe you can't, maybe I'm just, I don't know. When I put it on my skin, I feel like it goes too light. But yeah, those are really, really nice. They're very wet looking highlight, very dramatic, very metallic wet looking highlighters. I def I love to use them as eyeshadows. Then I'm gonna talk about these, Molly O'Brien. Um, highlights but loose highlights these are like if you want to you can use it on your body as well i love the size of them as well because you don't need that much of them so like when they come in a massive pot i'm like i don't need that much though like literally i've got the colors lovely and literally i like they've got stoppers in them as well love them um again you can use them as eyeshadow as well like they look like big pigments basically but they are really good as highlights they're so lovely that the texture on the skin really beauty Second skin highlighter in Dreaming. I'm not even joking. This is like such a lovely. I keep swatching the highlights. I need to stop. Um, such a lovely soft colour. It's just so soft on the skin. Like it's more not metallic, but like again buttery on the skin. And then they've got this colour called Saintly, which is a lighter one, but I've hardly ever used that one. I love that one because it's like I like sometimes more 
just a tiny bit lighter than my skin tone when I'm putting foundation on because it just looks so more melted into the skin rather than something that's like really like white on your skin and it looks too obvious sometimes. Talking about that, Bates Tri Blend Highlighter by Barry M in the Pull Up Bronze Deco. This is again such a lovely colour. It looks so more melted into the skin. I like my, my highlighters to be melted into the skin. Like more of like a wet look to the skin rather than glittery and chunky. I do like my glittery moments, but my favourite ones are the ones that you like turn your head and it just looks wet. But like also a really nice beaming colour, but melts into the skin. Then we've got the L'Oreal Foil Metallic Highlighter in the colour Rose Quartz. Got this from Hannah and ages ago. Mine's broke. This is such a lovely champagne. I love it for the colour. The champagne colour in it. It's so nice. You can buy it on eBay as well for like four quid. And I bought it for £12. So I was like, oh, can't want to buy another one just in case you can't buy it anymore. Because you can't buy it in stock because it was a part of a collection. We can't in the UK anyway. But love that highlight. It's my favourite drugstore highlight that. Like the, it's the consistency. The formula is so amazing. It's like high end. Highlighters from the drugstore. These are Catrice. This is from... Um, JustMyLook.com. These are so affordable. This is like, what is it? Gilded Honey that they don't sell anymore, I think? I don't know if they sell it anymore or not. Someone said it would discontinue. This, it's one of my favourites. I don't think I'll ever use anything else other than this. Like, this will always be my collection. I love the seafood packaging. And I got a lighter one as well. I just thought, oh, I'll try the lighter one as well. These, again, textures, amazing. Then I got this ages ago when Jacqueline Hill did the Champagne Pop. Um, it's not related to Jacqueline Hill anymore, is it? This was way too dark for me. I think it looks nice for me now, but I never use it. These two, these are the Doll Beauty ones. Love these. The packaging just made in because the gold comes off though. These were my first, like, favourite staple highlighters. Like, I've loved these for a couple, good couple of years now. Shine Bright. Beautiful. And then this one is just your perfect rose gold. This is the perfect rose gold highlighter. I've got these two MAC highlighters as well. Um, pinky one called Shaw Gold. It's got like iridescent um, pink glitters in it. And then Soft Frost. These I literally keep for creative looks. I love this pink highlighter, but I need to get more like um, colorful highlighters for sure. Um, and then I've got this Fenty Beauty highlighter in Trophy Wife. I love this to death. It's such a nice eyeshadow as well. It is so nice. I cannot tell you how lovely it looks. Like, it is just one of those unique colours in a highlight and their formula. I don't have that many blushes, I don't think. Nars Orgasm. Won this in a giveaway from Steph Toms ages ago. And I thought this was the normal size of the blush. Bought it for my giveaway last year, a Christmas giveaway. It's my perfect soft pink, hint of pink soft glam kind of makeup. I'm gonna wear something for a night out or a day glam or it's very bridal as well. I love it. Now it's orgasm. Um, and then this one's quite similar but in the peach tone. This is quite brand new as well. This is the Doll Beauty Vida La Vake blush. I got this and then Jordan Lipscomb used it in one of her videos. I was like, I know I like this for a reason. I love anything that Jordan Lipscomb loves basically. Same vibe. <laughs> um, this is lovely. It's literally the peachy version of Nars Orgasm. Like quite very, very similar. Got Life's a Peach. I've had this for years by L'Oreal. It's a lovely, just a sheen. Wash of colour. Really, really nice. I love it to tip. Also, I don't know if I've still no. I forgot that it had a brush in here. I had the brush in there for a good two years. They still sell that one as well. This is the Primark blush in Secrecy. One pound. Every raves about these, so I thought I'd get one. And they've got a different colour as well. I don't know where it is. Peachy pink colour. It's got a bit of a sheen to it as well. Again, I like my little bit of a sheen to it. Oh, really glowy. Uh, Milani Illuminoso. Got this last year. I love it, but I don't use it that often. I feel like it's nice, but I've got my other favourites. Like, these are my favourites. Love them to death. MAC Extra Dimension Blushes. If you like a glowy blush... A glowy bl if you like a glowy skin, you'll need a glowy blush. So I've got a colour, Telling Glow, which is so amazing. They go on so soft and um, you can build up the colour, but it goes on like hardly... Like you can build up the pigment, basically, so don't be scared of the colours. And I've got t Just a Pinch and Telling Glow. I have every single colour of this in my kit because I love, love 
the consistency of these blushes. Like if someone wants a glowy skin, give them that and they're like, what the hell have you used on my skin? And then I've got this MAC one um, called Sun Basque. I don't really use this one anymore, but it's just like a nice bronzy kind of blush. If you don't like blush that much, I've got back into blush again because it's come like more mainstream now to wear like a pop like more colour on your cheeks and uh. and then I've got this XX Revolution one in the colour Fickle it's like Nars Orgasm but more pink like more pigmented um, that's why I love that one got this one from Colourpop which is called Juice Bar so it's just a really nice pink colour with some a little bit of iridescent glitters in it really really nice I've only just got that um, I got gifted it I'm on the PR list now I was like they're my only two matte blushes Trying to get into matte blushes more because I love my glowy sheen blushes kind of thing. So these are the Jolie Beauty Second Skin Blushes. I can't say this. Red, 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 Rendivus and Flushed. More peachy, more pink. Bronzer. So we we'll talk about these Primark ones first. So these come in four different colours. I didn't really realise that until I worked for Primark back in um, last Christmas. So Fearless and Sunset. I love Fearless more. One pound these bronzers are, and they're so pigmented. I like Fearless more because it is obviously you can tell on camera there, it's more like caramelly. Um, it, it is more of a contour colour, these like kind of colours because they're very highly pigmented. They go on amazing, and they're one pound. This is the first baked bronzer I ever used, love it to death. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish. I got Dark Tan. This is such a lovely colour. It's tiny, it's a bit too dark for me right now, but I, I ever use this. Um, dark Golds, and oh, if I was really, really like the Clay, I'm now basically and I put foundation colour that actually matched me right now. Um dark medium dark is such an amazing bronzer for the pale skin tones. It doesn't come off red or orange, it just comes off like a nice bronzy colour. But then I've moved on to this is the Milani um Bates bronzer in Dolce number nine. It is it's got some sheen in it and it looks really nice and natural to the skin, so it's not matte, it's just and it's not shimmery, it's just it's just got like almost like a skin-like look to it. And that's why I love that one so much. Mineral Baked Bronzer by Il Maquillage in Waka Waka. This one, again, it's like dark tan, similar colour to that. Um, it's amazing. Exactly like the, the MAC one, I'm not going to lie. It's literally the exact same. Um, super, it's like a buildable coverage, like pigment-wise and stuff. So I like that. That's what I like about baked bronzers. They're just so easy to like build up. But a bronzer, this is my newest bronzer, I think. I have to smell it every single time because it smells amazing. This is just the bronzer one. I was gifted this as well. I love this. It is more... It's almost like a baked bronzer, but not a baked bronzer. Um, I, is it actually baked or not? Because it doesn't say anything, does it? Um, really pigmented, more of a neutral kind of tone though. Um, I know they do different colours, but that's more neutral, that one. Which I actually kind of prefer, because all those other bronzers I've just mentioned are very warm. Now I've got this Lisa Armstrong Avon one. Um, it's in the colour Shim Sunrise Shimmer. Not my favourite, um, I'm too, <laughs> I mean it would match me now like I said but I like a darker bronzer because I like a darker foundation. They've got a Too Faced one, this is so old, I'm like, <laughs> this is so old, I should probably throw this away. This is the Chocolate Soleil Medium Slash Deep Bronzer. Pigmented but not too pigmented, easy, easy to blend out, it smells like chocolate, like still smells like cocoa powder, love it. I can't say anything bad about Too Faced just knows how to do skin products. And then talk about skin products, Fenty Beauty are amazing at that as well. I've got the Island Ting bronzer. Very pigmented bronzer, probably picked up a shade too dark for me. I was tanned, really fake tanned when I bought this. So it's a good bronzer, but I wish I go a tiny bit lighter because it is really pigmented. Creamy as hell as well. I've got a Benefit Hula. I never use this. I just don't use it. And then I've got the Hula Caramel. Hula Caramel is mommy. Now, if you're a contour girl, you'll like this. If you're a bronzer girl, you'll like this. You'll see why. Like, you can see the caramel tones in this. That's why it's called Hula Caramel. Two bronzers that I love, these doll beauty ones. So, these are the dark and the medium deep. I thought I'd love the medium deep, but you can see, again, next to each other, this one's more bronzy, this one's more contoury colour. This one's more for like, if I want a contour, 
bronzy contour. This one's for I want a bronzer. Then I've got the Catrice Clean ID Mineral Bronzer. This is in, what shade is this in? Oh, light to medium. I love this for when I'm at this colour. It does build up quite easily as well. It's a very nice, soft colour. I love it. I really do. I don't really use it that much. I need to use it more. Then I've got these two Jolie Beauty bronzers. This one's in Latte and this one's in Caramel. Haven't used Caramel yet and you can see why. Latte is a beautiful colour. I always use this in my looks as well. I always like tend to go to this if I want like, something a little bit more pigmented. Um, I don't think I'll be using this. This will probably go in the makeup kit though, really good for like darker skins. Because that is... Because it's pigment, I know how pigmented it is, I'm like, mm, no, that's too dark. And I've got a lot of palettes here, and this is not all of them. This is like basically all of them that will fit in this, um, this first draw here. Because most of them are too tall to fit in the draw. Like upwards, I have to like lay down. That was a carnival palette. So, carnival palette. I just think that this is, oh, do you know what, I love that colour hustle. I need to put this in probably my makeup kit or something. Oh, I forgot about the colour sky. Forget about all these. Do you know what? I, I'm gonna get rid of this, but I feel like I wanna, I wanna use it again. Use it in ages. As you can see, I've hit pan on loads of colours. I need to do a YouTube video on using old makeup products that I don't use anymore. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. Makeup Revolution palettes here. Um, so we've got the, these were like very old. I bought them these ages ago. We've got Fever, Iconic Division, which is like the subculture palette. This one here, which is just like a rainbow eyeshadow palette, which is actually the best one you can buy from a drugstore, in my opinion. I think I'm gonna bin these, because like, look at that, there's no eyeshadow colours left. Um, these are the Beauty Bay palettes, Nude Matte and Fiery Matte. I think I'm gonna have to bin them. I don't want to bin them, but I feel like I'm just gonna put them in the pile, which I'm not gonna like use as much. Anastasia, Modern Renaissance. I never use that anymore. The soft, the soft glam I use actually is soft glam makeup. I, I still love it to this day. Um, it's very overpriced, I think, for for what it is. Because you can buy so many like eyeshadow palettes that, that, that are not that expensive. It does blend amazingly though. And then I've got this one from Aldi, which is exa the exact same as the soft glam. And then we've got the Catrice Makeup Palette. I love that one as well. I feel like I need to use it again. I only used it once. Primark Nude Basics. I like this for like, as you can tell, it's like more neutral to cool tone. You've got a really nice silver in there. Um, really good eyeshadow palette and it's cheap as well. The Laroc Pro Face Palettes. The only thing I don't like about these is the smell. Like, I don't know if everybody else like this, but it does got a very weird smell. To it. They're not bad products at all. It's just like a weird smell. Like they don't, it's just, I think it's just that palette, unless it's just my palette that smells a bit weird. <laughs> Chocolate box palette, a really, really nice palette with two highlights in the middle. I feel like ever since uh, Be Perfect come out with like the Carnival palette with the highlights in, a lot of brands have been doing that. It's not a bad thing at all. They did it before, but I think they've like really hyped it up. Got a random eyeshadow, don't even ask. I like it, Co one which has got like this one Melchior eyeshadow in that POEs used to like rave about those eyeshadows. Makeup Geek eyeshadows as well. And these are lovely eyeshadows, but I don't know why. I feel like at one point when I was getting into makeup, single eyeshadows were so like popular and now it's completely opposite. Like they're not popular whatsoever. This is a Anastasia little one as well. Just full of Anastasia little eyeshadows. It's my like, it's just my go-to like nude browns. Hill Maquillage one. This is so nice. I've, I've used it on my YouTube channel before. This is so, so nice. Oh my God, like, the, it goes on, it builds up, but it's, if you can't blend, like, that sounds really horrible, but if you're not, if you don't do eyeshadow that much, you're not, like, as technical with, like, blending and stuff. Makeup Revolution times Soap Palette. I used to, do you know what, my YouTube took over from this palette um, and that's why I don't want to get rid of it because it's got sentimental value to it. I'm like, it's my baby. So we've got another Lorac Pro palette. I haven't actually used this, but that yellow is screaming my name. I've got this Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate. I don't want to bin it because it smells nice. That is the only reason I don't want to bin it. Oh my god, it smells so nice. I got rid of the other one that I had, but I've got this one still, just because I feel like it's just, 
It's a good eyeshadow palette, but I haven't used it for years. What's wrong with me? I've got Times by Mora, um, Glam Trio, so it's bronzer, blush, and highlight. I love like how England does the packaging. It's very different from any other brand. I feel like that's what sets it apart. And then this Fire It Up one by Inglot Times Mara. Mara. I'm so bad with pronouncing names. Got that one, which is really nice. One from Anastasia. Again, just a free made palette, so I made it myself. Then I got this, which I'll, I'll not bin. This is the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. So this is the Brights palette. The reason why I won't bin this is because a makeup artist gave me this from Manchester. I went to a lesson with her. She went, oh, I've got a spare one here, you can have it. And I was just like, are you joking me? Like, are you kidding? I love doing that lesson. I need to do another lesson with another makeup artist. I love just applying makeup to someone else. Like, I, I just love it. Like, obviously I love doing it on me as well, but I just love it to do it on other people. I, just, I miss doing it on other people. But yeah, I never want to get rid of this just because that was so kind of her to do, just to give it me, just like, oh, here you go. She was so sweet. And then I've got this Doll Light Duo highlighters. I will say I prefer the um, individual highlighters to the palette ones. I just think they are a little bit different in formula. Uh, I don't know if anybody else feels that way. I just feel like it, it's just completely different. And I've got the Morphe Times by Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. I got rid of one of these, but I loved this one just because of Oh, this green here. And I've got these two palettes and I never actually got to use. I've not come around to using them. The Doe Colour um, Soul and Time palette. So we've got this one and this one. So I don't know if I'll... I've never actually touched them and used them. So I might actually give them in a giveaway. Just because I've got that many eyeshadow palettes. I'm like, do I really need more eyeshadow palettes? I haven't used them. So I haven't touched them at all. So I could just give them away. The Pop Ray of Sunshine palette. I think it's so cute how miniature it is. Like I'm just looking at it and I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. I love the concept of this. Colourpop are really good for like coming out with like new stuff all the time. Lot in London, eyeshadow palette, just a bright one. This Too Faced one as well, a cheek, like um, a blush and a highlight. Got this Too Faced one. I used this the other day for my emoji makeup, like the pink cloud thing. Then I've got this Morphe blush palette. As you can tell, I've used and abused this. I haven't actually picked this up in a while, but I absolutely love it. Like these colours. This is the Pop Off Blush Trio. And then I've just got this randomly in here. It's the Sol um, Golden Pearl Shim Shimmering Dry Oil from Colourpop. So I've got that as well in there. Don't ask why. I just randomly popped it in there. Okay, so now we're getting into all the lip products. We'll start off with lip glosses because it's the closest thing to me again. I'm a brand ambassador for Be Perfect Cosmetics. They sent me a lot of this stuff. Honestly, I was so, so grateful for it. Um, so these are their double glazed glosses. So I think I've got every single, almost every single colour because I gave some in a um, giveaway which I knew I wouldn't use. Um, really nice colours at the same time, but I just know I didn't need two nudes. I was like, I don't need two nudes. I can give one away kind of thing. But these are all the colours. I love the consistency. They're super, super pigmented. And they've got like different... It's like some are pigmented. Some have just got a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, the clear one's really nice as well. You need a clear gloss. My favourite out of them all is definitely Starkers, which is the... <laughs> Um, which is the Stacey Marie collab one. Obviously that one would be my favourite. I love her to death. She's such a lovely human being. I don't want to say human being. She's such a lovely woman. I want to talk about this gloss because this is... Oh, the smell of this is just a vanilla cupcake. This is the High Gloss Lightweight Ultra Shine Lip Gloss by Primark in the colour Golden Sands. I'm pretty sure these are like two, two pound fifty. If you see this one in Golden Sands, you need it. It's like a MAC lip gloss, exactly the same. One of my top favourites is the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. Need that. I literally, it's my go-to gloss on a night out kind of thing. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Used to be kind of thing. I still wear it now, but like when I go to a night out, I'm, I'm like, mmm, that's my favourite. And it smells so nice. Got the Inglot Times Mara, is it Mara? Mara? Mara. There we go, Mara. Um, runway. Yeah, Runway. That I want is so nice and so glittery. Then we've got the Hot Ombre Cosmetics. This one is so cute. I love the applicator. It's so, so, what does that smell like? Oh, like strawberry. I love smelling stuff, <laughs> especially when it's coming on. I'm like, it's near to your nose. Like, you can smell it, and I'm like, oh, I smell nice then. Like, that's one of the things I look for. 
This is also a really nice one. Doll Gloss in Blogged. I heard like mixed reviews about these, but um, the, this colour is so nice because they sent it to me, but like it's so like bronzy shimmery. Like it's so nice. Pop Up Lux Gloss. I haven't tried this yet, but it looks so, so nice. I've got some more glosses in there as well. Oh, I've got another Primark one as well. Oh, yes, this one's called Candy. This one is like, so like this one's your like nice, um, nudie one and this one's like your nudie pink you need to try them because they're so like lightweight I have this is my, back in my back days so I've got this one which I don't even know the colour of I need to bin that one I don't even know do they do stick back to max still I'm gonna get, I think that's part of the collection anyway I've got I think that's um, something bare barely there or something oh no that's obviously bare that one's like very cool tone kind of nude and that one's like a normal nude. I wanted a cool tone because I thought it would look like cool and different. And then I've got this one called Dreamy, which I love that colour as well. Remember my gloss, you know my gloss. This is supposed to be clear, don't judge me. Everyone's got a clear gloss that's not clear anymore. But Cash Beauty does a, a gloss and their gloss has got like um, a plastic applicator so you're not gonna worry about this situation happening. So it never like changes the colour of your gloss and this, Smells divine. Right, we'll go on to liquid lips next. Forgot I had this. This is why I like to go for my makeup collection. This is the Il Maquillage um, liquid lip. This is in the colour Matte Snob. This is such a beautiful purpley shade. I've got it on my first impressions, um, a video of this. It looks so nice on. I forget I have this. I want to do more colourful lips. So that's why I'm like, oh my god. And the packaging. It just gets me every time. From Be Perfect, I've got all of their liquid lips. I love the colour range of theirs because they've got like purple, pink, red, dark brown, light brown, nude, pink. They've just got such a nice range and they're super comfortable to wear and really lightweight. My favourite must be Bougie though. Bougie and Starkers, star Starkers, on top of each other. I always get asked what I'm wearing when I wear those two because like they are like the best. And like I said, 20% off blend 20 if you want to buy anything from but the perfect. <laughs> Be perfect. So then I've got these KVD Beauty liquid lips. Black. This is the it's the I, I literally bought this because I was like, this is the best black liquid lip. Everybody raves about this. And now I know why. Hello Vampire Vampire and Exorcist. Um, one's more purpley, one's more burgundy. Um, I just got it because I wanted those like deep vampy colours and KBD Beauty is good for like the vampy colours. This Lime Crime one that I bought ages ago that I never used. So I feel like this needs to go in the bin because I've literally never used it. It's such a cute like tangy colour though. I love like the idea of doing like a bold lip but I never do it because I feel like my eyes are just that. Like... I've got a lot of focus on my eyes so then when it comes to the lips I'm like like if I did less on my eyes, I think I'd like it. But these here. So I did have the Rainbow Collection from Jeffree Star. I have decided not to buy from Jeffree Star anymore. To skin, and then I got the white, and then I got these two. Wait, what did I do here? I'm pretty sure I got these three in the yeah. I got these three in the Mitchell Masterclass two years ago. So I probably should bin them but I don't know why I'm hanging on to them. I feel like Celebrity Skin is such a nice colour but at the same time I don't want to use the, the colours because I'm just like... Lipsticks. Oh my god I've got so many lipsticks. Primark lipsticks. I think I've got all the matte ones to be honest with you guys. <laughs> like I love the matte consistency ones. This is my favourite naked. Love this stuff. This is, it's the lightest one. It is like Mac Myth. It's the exact same as Mac Myth. I will tell you that now. And then we've got Frill Seeker, which is like Velvet Teddy. I don't like this colour, but I think I'd like it if I was very tan because then it'd show up lighter on me. Do you get what I'm, do you know what I'm saying? Um, and then we've got like, this is like the Ruby Woo version. This is um, Soulmate. And then, is this broke? Yeah. Oh no, look at it. I broke that one. I didn't mean to break it like, but I broke it. Um, this one's called Shock. I literally bought all these colours so I wanted to start wearing bright lip colours. Like, I'm buying them because I'm pretty sure they're only £1.50. And then we've got Posy, Vintage Rose. I love the fact that they've done the lipstick shades of the actual tubes, like the same colour. And then this is Gossip. When you make up dry, you can see which one's the nude one. Like MAC lipsticks gets... It's just like you look at it and they're all black and you're like... 
am I picking up a red or am I picking up a nude? I put them upside down so I can see the name still, but it's just, I'd rather our lipsticks come in this format because it's just easier on the eyes. Star Beauty lipsticks are definitely up there with one of my favourite lipsticks. Um, I've got Get Lippy, FOMO and Come To Mama. So I bought these two, these were on the sale and you can see the slightly different packaging, if you can see that. Um, FOMO is such a lovely colour. It's got engraved little hearts in it as well. Um, I love all the colours, especially like, I think it's, one of these is like Macchiash. I can't remember which one, but the consistency and everything is so nice and so creamy. They're more like um, matte to satin finishes, but they have like different... I think they're all like either satin or matte, matte because I know that FOMO is a little bit more matte than the other two. The Cash Beauty lipsticks. So I have all the Cash Beauty lipsticks. I'm an affiliate for them. So Veil is the most perfect nude ever. It's such a neutral nude. It's so lovely. Blood Moon colour. Like, they're just so nice. I'm not going to do swatches just because phew, they would take ages. This is Nude Rose. True Nude, which again is a favourite of mine. I still like Veil though. Veil's has got to be my favourite. It's Soleil. It's like a peachy. You can say it's really, really peachy. Dawn, which is kind of like, um, it, makes, it reminds me of Mac Whirl a little bit. Got Rust Nude, which everybody raves about. Um, a little bit of a warmer nude, basically. Lipsticks from Be Perfect. Um, this is collaboration with, I can't say, Blue Hi I can't say the name. I'm just trying to find it pronounced, but I've got a blue lipstick, which I thought, oh my god, that's so much fun. And then this bright pink. I just want to get more bright lipstick colours, so I'll actually use them. And the packaging is so nice. Reminds me of MAC packaging. That's what I mean, I don't really use MAC lipsticks anymore because I'm just like, there's so much out there on the market, you don't need MAC lipsticks. There is certain colours that are like staples and stuff, but I don't think you do need to get, like Yash, MAC Yash is beautiful and trimmed and stuff, but I feel like there's other brands that are just coming out with like really good products, so like there is a lot of competition these days with makeup. Some lipsticks from that Avon collection, again, they're like powder kiss lipsticks, like the the packaging's really nice, but I just don't... I'm not that fussed about them. Like, it's more my mum's kind of thing. Like, I feel like it looks nice, but then I just don't use them. Like, I'm being honest with you guys, I just don't use them. Like, my mum would actually love them, but she never hardly wears makeup anyway. So I'm like, mum, I'm not going to give you my makeup if you're not going to use it. I've got a nail maquillage lipstick. Um, I wasn't too bothered about that one, though, because it was a different, like, formula than I was expecting. I like my mattes and my satins. Um, I do like my sheer lipsticks, but it's a time and a place. Um, this one from Inglot by Times Square Mora, um, Bad Acid. This is such a lovely colour. Look at that. Mm. Such a lovely, lovely colour. Everyone's so obsessed about the Rust Nude one. I think my favourite is the True Nude, just because it's a little bit more neutral. I like my neutral nudes. I really do. I, do, I like my warmer nudes. But my neutral nudes are my favourite. I like to keep that in that box there. So basically, all my Cash Beauty lipsticks, um, gloss, and lip liners are in that little box. I want to start talking about the liquid glitters first. I've got all the Be Perfect ones. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's a couple more, but I put like two or three in a giveaway. Um, the main trio is like, I think it's these three here. They are honestly so nice. Like, if you just want glitter to stick, or do you want to do a, like a glitter liner? Gl like liquid glitters are the best thing. These have got a really nice range of colours as well. Like if you want to do like um like, like, like cutting out your crease and you want to use that before a glitter, like you can use it as a glitter glue as well. My eyes really itch randomly. When I worked at MAC, I used these. These are the Dazzle Shadow Liquid. The colours Beam Time and Every Day is Sunshine. These are my favourite ones because I don't like the chunky ones. I only like the ones that are like shimmery glitters. Chunky glitter is never like my thing really. I just like an iridescent glitter, like really small glitter, if that makes sense. Um, I need to stop saying that because obviously it makes sense. And I got this wet and wild one, which is like literally like £3.50. And this is actually quite amazing. It's like a really nice silvery colour, as you can see. Yeah, so this one's called Cashmere Love. I want to say Cabel, Cabella, Cabella. These are some pigments. They sent me some really nice like, soft pigments. Like, they've got a little bit of shimmer in them and stuff. Then I've got some ones from Shade London. Oh, I want to talk about these, in fact. So before liquid glitters came out, like the ones I've just talked about, 
these were it. Like these were like the one. These are the Urban Decay, the Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. So if you know about these, you'll be an old school like makeup person because these were like the best thing. The only thing is, someone told me they've got cucumber in it. That's why you have a little bit of a burning sensation, like a cooling sensation, but it feels a bit burning in your eyes. So once I put them on, I'd be like, why does it feel like it's a little bit hot on my eye though? It feels really weird. Um, it's because it's got cucumber in it. And I never knew that. And someone on Urban Decay said, oh yeah, like everybody says it, it burns, but it doesn't. It's just because it's got cucumber in it. I was like, oh, I thought it was just me. Just some Lick and Lash Beauty pigments here that they sent me and the glitter. So like the pigments look like in the square and the glitters are like in this packaging basically. Um, got them. NYX glitter. So I love this one. This is in 07. It's an iridescent um, green colour. I like my iridescent like glitters. I'll show you these by MAC. So these are the reflex glitters by MAC. So if you are underestimating what these do, oh my god, these are so universal. You can use them as a highlight or on top of a highlight to make it more pink, blue, um, gold. Like I used to use a gold all the time on top of my highlighter. Um, obviously use it as glitter. Mix it in with like a body spray and it'll have glitter all over your body. But it's like a nice like iridescent glitter. I mean, you can tell on camera or not. I don't think you can. Reflex pearl, reflex gold, reflex transparent teal. But, and then reflex transparent pink. I use the blue and the pink the most because they're just so nice. But then I use the gold one. Do you know what? I use them all. I've got like ones like this. These are like reflex but obviously like they're a lot more colourful. Um, reflex rust. So... I had loads of these, like different colours, but I got rid of them because I was just like, I don't need that many glitters, Hannah. Do I? Probably not. I've got loads of peaches and cream ones. My favourites are Rattlesnake and Gatsby. Um, and then there's one called Cinderfella, I think. Cinderfella? It's like Cinderella, but like the Halloween vibe kind of thing when it came out. Um, and then I've got this. So this is a box that I had for lashes, like came lashes and like all the applicator and the glue. I took the foam out and then I've used it for like a, just a bit of my big pigments. Um, so I've got the P. Louise old school pigments. I love these still. The blue, well it's supposed to be like a grey but it's more of a bluey grey. The green, the rose gold, oh my god. And the Helene pigments, these are all the neon ones up here. This one is my heaven, like I love it to death. I need to get the green and the coral one, 100%. They sent me them, I was like, oh my god, thank you. Glitters, I use this um, on my makeup live on Instagram. Um, I think it was last Friday or Friday before. It's, I did like a green look and it just like a soft glam kind of vibe. And that glitter is so nice. I've saved it as an IGTV, so if you can, if you want to see the whole makeup look, I've saved it on there. So don't worry guys, you can still watch it if you didn't catch it live. It's still on my Instagram. Some Inglot ones. Um, I've got these three I bought like years ago for my birthday and I've got number 35, 22 and 120. I don't really use them that much though but I got this one sent to me. This is the 115 and that one is, you know what, the pigments that they do is just like, Joanna Brand just does a pigment in a certain way, like Peaches and Cream have got their formula, P. Louise had theirs, Inglot's got theirs, like you can tell by just looking at um, what brand it's made by, like the texture and stuff. Talk about that, Sample Beauty. So I've got the colour. Is it Sean Malona? Is it Seen Malona? I don't know. <laughs> that one. Salma and then Clo. Yeah, Clo. So what I love about these as well, so like they're all by like um, an Instagram person because I've got the Instagram underneath and I love that. I love the whole collaboration thing. These were in a set for the best selling ones. And I've got this MAC eyeshadow. I got this years ago. Before I started makeup college, that's how old this is. Um, I got this from York Designer Outlet. Moon is blue. Um, I love to go into your designer outlet and get a little discount makeup. Then I worked at Mac and I was just like, mm, the discount's so much better when you work for Mac. It really is. Um, and I ain't got discount for Mac, I don't buy Mac. <laughs> Basically, I mean, I bought that blush, that um, extra dimension blush scents and stuff, and other bits, but I don't really get that much from Mac anymore, like I said. Urban Decay. So, this is the best black eyeshadow, in my opinion. It's the creamiest one, literally it's so, so nice. I feel like this and the Too Faced Blacks, Licorice, I think it's called, the most creamiest blacks, but this one's my favorite. It's called Blackout. It literally, it's because it's so creamy, it just sticks to the eye nicely. You know you put a black on it, it just kind of 
you try to pat it on and it kind of just doesn't stick. This sticks. I've got the Inglot Duro line, which is like the best thing ever for eyeliners. It basically like brings back to life your eyeliners and stuff like that. Um, I got sent this. Oh my God, I love it to death. I got this one from KVD Beauty. This is called Lemmy Green. I haven't used it yet. I'm still to use it. I'm excited to use it. I love the packaging. That's all eyeliners and stuff. And we've got some mascaras. So I've got like, I've got all my mascaras like in my thing underneath my desk, like my miniature, my magnet mascara. I've got a L'Oreal mascara in this little box over here. I'll show you guys after. This is the Loose Armstrong one. Um, the only thing with this is I find that it does transfer. So I should probably just get rid of that. And then this Morphe one, it's a blue eyelash primer, but what I love to use it for is like literally just to paint my eyelashes blue, like for a creative look. I've got this freckle pen from Colourpop and it's really nice. And I think like this is the dark brown colour. I actually use this in my brows as well because it just puts a, a slight tint to your brows. Um, love that. That's why I just, I, I just need to try more freckle products out because it's coming into spring now. So I'm like, oh, I can actually do freckles all the time. I mean, I can do them in, that's too many. You can do them in winter, but it's just not the same. And then I've got this Tiny Tip Precise Brow Pen. I didn't realise I love this. I love this to death. If you've seen me using this in my video, I'm pretty sure I've used it in one of my YouTube videos where I'm trying out um, a full face and new makeup. Like one of my favourite brow products now. I love it so much. And it's by Essence, so it's not expensive whatsoever either. Sense, I want to say sensory, but it's not sensory. Brow Engineer. I got this scent, oh, the whole free. I've got this. I've got the darker one. And then I've got the really dark one. But I've used the bleached one. I haven't used this one yet, the platinum. Because I mean, I probably could use it now and it'd look amazing. But it's basically like a brow colour. So it just um, gives the effect of like bleached brows or something. And I love the concept of this. No other brand has made this. So I think it's definitely like a standout product. So if you want to like bleach your brows but not bleach your brows, or you like doing makeup looks with bleached brows like effect. This are the, the colour bleached. I like the colour bleached because I feel like it just melts into my skin more. Brow gels. So, I've got the Be Perfect Lock and Load. I've got the Il Maquillage Brow Factor. And I've got the Anastasia Medium Brown Brow Pomade. And I use the Jero line with this because this is years old. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is years old. I think I bought it... I think I bought it four years ago. So... A very long time ago. Okay, so onto the bottom drawer. I've got this um, little netting with these sponges in. They're all clean. So I've got Real Techniques one, Be Perfect, and then um, I can't remember what this is. I know it's a, like um, a brand scented with them. So eyeshadow palettes that I've got in here. Let me go through these. These are all my most used, most used bigger palettes. This is the biggest eyeshadow palette that I own. Have you seen the size of this? It is absolutely huge. This is the Lark Pro Artistry Book Palette. I love it. I love all these colours up here though. Like these are my favourite, like all them there, my favourite colours. I do like all these colours down here, but I just love that half of the palette. Like, let me show you, like that half of the palette at the top is actually my dreams, especially like that musk colour there. That musk colour is so, so nice. This is obvious. I've got the Carnival Extra Large Pro Palette. This is my ultimate favourite colourful eyeshadow palette. If I want a colourful eyeshadow palette, this is what I'll go to. You've got all your colours in there. You've got literally everything you could need in this palette. Like you can do any eyeshadow look, colourful eyeshadow look with this palette. I've just realised I'm blind, you guys. Blend 20. Get 20% off it and buy it. <laughs> this is the Be Perfect Carnival Free palette. So this is what everybody loves. I mean, the aesthetic of it is beautiful. It's definitely like an extended shade range to, I keep forgetting that there's a mirror there. Extended shade range um, to the Carnival Extra Large Pro Palette. So if I show you guys them side by side, you'll know what I mean if I can do this. So yeah, that is literally like a shade extension. You can see what I mean. Like they've got all like the colors that you need more of in this Love to Heat palette, but yeah, this one's my favourite. But I love this one for, if you like your purples, reds, pinks, this is the palette for you. I've just hit pan on this one. I've hit, almost hit, hit pan on a couple now. I need to use this palette more. I've been like more cautious to use this palette more. Be perfect. This is the clientele palette. Everybody loves this palette so much. This is like your neutrals slash popper colours because it's got all the burgundy greens the kind of colors a little bit of step into color so you've literally got like your khaki greens you've got your burgundies 
um, a bit of pink, mauve pink kind of vibes. It's got like neutrals and splashes of colour in there, but not vivid colour or like bright colour. So if you get trying to get into colour, this palette is a must. Um, this is a Circus Tent palette by Laurent Pro. I cannot wait for the new palette to come out. They keep teasing it and I'm just like, well, give it me then. <laughs> I love this. A lot of people are saying it's similar to the Carnival Extra Large Pro Palette. I can see the similarities of the set out and everything, but like at the same time, no, because if I was making the eyeshadow palette that's rainbow, I would set it out like yellows, oranges, da, 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 da. do you know what I mean? Like it's aesthetically pleasing to look at it like this. So that's why I would say it out like this. The tones in these eyeshadows are not the same as the tones and eyeshadows in the Carnival Extra Large Pro Palette. Um, the amount of people that said that it was like same to the extra large pro palette, I'm like it's really not. Like I can I can tell you guys, I use it almost every single day in the Carnival extra large pro palette. But this is it's definitely different, different tones, different like variety of colours. They've got another Be Perfect palette. I forgot about this almost. I love this one because it's smaller. It's very like a Christmas glam vibe. If you like your burgundies, pinks, um, it's got some neutrals there, and I feel like the split into fours aren't there like that four down there looks amazing um yeah really really nice and it's got your pop of pink in there it's got a bright it's got a nice ratio from mattes to shimmers as well this is the sample beauty palette i need to use this palette more i feel like i haven't used it as like i just wanted to get more eyeshadow palettes that are like um colorful rainbow eyeshadow palettes this formula i have to get used to it's pigmented and stuff but obviously i'm so used to the be perfect one now um, it's slightly different so I've got to tweak it a little bit um, but these like these two purple colours this whole shade range down here e Beauty Bay me, myself and Mitchell palette they don't sell this anymore I haven't really used it that much I love the pan size I love the concept I love the layout because they're pressed pigment eyeshadows I, I have a little bit of a trouble blending them out um, and I'm a blending queen <laughs> I just got so used to using Be Perfect eyeshadows, that these are all pressed pigments, so you've got to be really careful when you put in the pigment on your eye, basically, because if you put too much, it'll just stick to one area. That's what I found, personally, for me. So when it came to this drawer, I thought I'd just show you, because I've obviously, I've gone through it and got rid of some lashes as it is. So I'm just gonna show you my favorite, favorite lashes. I've got a Be Perfect one in here as well. Wait, no, there. <laughs> so these are actually quite brand new, these lashes. These are Bang Bang lashes. Um, my camera's gonna make a lot of noise when I'm doing this by the way guys, just ignore it. These are, the packaging is so nice. The quality of the lashes are so nice. I just think they're just beautiful. These are my two favorite. This is Coco and Salted Caramel. They're just really nice lashes to wear. These are my favorites to wear. You want thick lashes, but not for it to be too thick. So it's like a, not a natural eyeshadow, but like for me, I have different lashes depending on what eyeshadow looks I have. So these are really nice, if, like, because they go thinner in the inner corner there, can you see? A little bit thinner on the inner corner. You can see the cut crease more on the colour, so that's why I like them for them. And then these are just nice um, and thick, but they're not too thick to wear the colour your eyeshadow up. Tatty Lashes, oh my god, the under lashes by Tatty Lashes are literally the best thing ever. Um, so we've got, let me show you guys what we've got. Ah. So we've got the underlash collection. So we've got these ones that are called Pixin. We've got a Vibe Check and then the Mitchell one. The Mitchell ones are my favorite still. The differences between the bottom lashes. If you're gonna get bottom lashes, you need to get these guys. Um, they are individual, so they're not just like a strip lash. So you can just take them off individual. So each little bit comes off individually. So that's why it's so easy to use. Um, TL Mitchells, I haven't used this in that long. Do you know what's weird? I thought these were the thickest lashes ever before I used the TL Mitchell 2s. These are what, look how crazy they look. <laughs> crazy. So these are the ones that I use when I'm doing my colourful, crazy cut creases. Because no other lashes will show up as fluffy. Like, I just love them. So if you're doing a crazy eye makeup, you need to use them, basically, is what I'm telling you. But they also, tight lashes also do like foam ink ones as well. And I don't really like the idea of foam ink just because I feel like it'll not look as fluffy. But these, I'm actually quite intrigued to try, try them out because they look quite fluffy at the end. So then I've got these ones from Glamify Beauty. They sent me a couple, um, GB11 and GB28. I thought it was GB, G <laughs> Great Britain. It's Glamify Beauty, Hannah. <laughs> this is what I'm like. Um, these are really nice for my soft glam looks. Um, these are the thickest I'll go for a soft glam look. 
These are so nice for clients and stuff like Glamify Beauty. Those lashes are so nice on. These are what literally I will use for my soft glam looks and everybody will be like, what the hell are them lashes that you're wearing? Chloe Louise Glamorous Cosmetics. These are really nice fluffy ones as well. I've got another pack of these. Um, so I basically sorted them out. So it's the tiny lashes are here. Those are there. I've done them per brand. So they'll be like with each other's brand. And like I've used, the used eyelashes are to the back and then the um, newer lashes are to the front. I've got a lot of lashes I could talk about, guys. I've got these ones as well from Primark. I wanted to use them as like, for my kit, just to add like more lashes to the lash band if I needed them. I don't really use them, but they're nice to have like, for crazy eye makeup looks and stuff if you wanna use a bottom lash. Robin lashes by um, <laughs> Robin Anderson. The Robin ones are so nice, because again, you get that really like, thin effect in the inner corner but it's still so thick and wispy it just does it so so nice our lashes guys i've just mainly put my brands together the ones i've used at the back and the ones i haven't used at the front um but yeah there's there's some lashes that have been sent like months ago and i've still not used and that's why i was like right i need to get rid of the ones that i'm not going to use and the ones that i've used a couple of times gone because then um, I've got all like these new ones are here and then all the old ones are at the back so I will like look at the new ones first um because I like to show you guys like a lot of different brands and stuff and like obviously I'm grateful for what I get sent so I like to use everything. So now we're onto this box here that I've got of makeup. Let me show you what I've got in this box and why I keep it in here. I'm going to talk about these. These are so cute. I love them. So these are the Bambi collection from Colourpop. So we've got an, a Bambi eyeshadow palette. I need to show you guys. Put some stuff in my giveaway. I always put stuff in my giveaway if I feel like I'm not gonna use it, I'll get use out of it. This is the flower one and this was broken anyway, this eyeshadow when it came, the end one, but I was like, oh my God, the flower one looks so cute. Like the eyeshadows are really nice in it as well. So you've got like your lilac, dark purple, dark, it's just, oh, they're just so nice. And they've got like, the white shimmery has got like a pearl, pearlescent purple to it. So I think that's so cute. Look how tiny that palette is compared to the ones I've just showed you. This is a body glitter puff thing. Look at this puff. Look at how big that puff is. It's a big puff that. Um, I haven't used it yet, but you just obviously take that off and then you can just put it all over your body and stuff. So I cannot wait to use that. But again, it's a theme of um, Bambi, Bumper and what is this? What is this skunk called? Like a flower. <laughs> Why did I not remember that? It was just in front of my face then. Yeah, so we've got like flower, which is purple, and then Fumper is like a pinky colour, and Bambi is like a nudie colour. Then these eyeliners as well, again, got like your purple, pink, and your nude to do with each character. So each character has got like a set colour for it, which I really, really like. Like, obviously, flower would be purple because most, col most col close to flower? You get what I mean. These are the hot ombre. Um, ombre lip kits. They've sent me every single colour and I love the packaging because it just, you can just hold them like that so you can see which colour like is per lip kit. So I'll show you guys, this, this was a matte metallic one, this is the Naked Sunset. So we have a darker liquid lip and a lighter liquid lip. So you put the dark one on the outside and the light one on the inside and it kind of merges together. I love this concept. No other makeup brand does this concept. And they do liquid lips and stuff and like lip kits but not an ombre lip kit so i definitely think she's done absolutely amazing to like i feel like sometimes when i'm talking i sound so monotone like she has, she has literally done so amazing to come up with that idea I have a package which i need to put on my story still i like to put everything on my story just as a little thank you kind of thing um we've got the siege 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 <laughs> siege <laughs> So we've got, you get 20% off these pigments if you use CJO1. I don't know how to pronounce the bloody brand name, is that, that's what I mean, this is what, mm, it came with this. I thought, oh my god, this is cool. This could have been like fun for a bloody Valentine's Day. I thought, why didn't this come in time for Valentine's Day? And then a heart lollipop as well. I thought, oh my god, pigments here. So I can't wait to try them. I haven't tried them yet, so I'm like yet to try them out. And then I got these literally the other day. I've, I've already used them as well. This is too dark for me. I'm really sad that this is too dark for me, this infallible powder. Like, why did I think that would match me? L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. 
I've seen Jordan Lewis come use this, I swear to God, and I was like, oh my God. I love how thin the packaging is, like it's super lightweight. Um, I'm gonna do a video on this, comparing it to the magnet one, because everyone's like saying, yeah, but is it as good as the magnet one? I've got some stuff from B Beauty, B-L-V-D. So these are all just like um, glitter lips, so I can't wait to try these in a look. So you've got a blue, a pink, silver, a purple, a gold and a red. Physicians Formula Eyeshadow Palette. I've got to be quiet because my sister's basically just told me off. Hot Ombre Smoke and Glow Eyeshadow Palette as well. It's their brand new eyeshadow palette they've come out with. It's so nice. I love the pop of colours in it and I just think it's like, it's very her. I love it. Two Lottie London Eyeshadow Palettes. I've been using this one. I thought you used this one in my um, PR makeup and then I've just uh, got this one as well to use. I think they're really nice and they're really affordable. Love them little mini eyeshadow palettes. A similar one from Makeup Revolution. This is their Ultimate Nudes in Light. I haven't used it yet. I've literally just tried to open it and it's got the sticker on it still so haven't used that yet. And I've got a couple of bits from Makeup Revolution. Like the new concealers and the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in Medium Light and Medium Yellow. Medium Light is so nice. Like if you haven't seen the video of me trying these new products out from Make Revolution, you need to watch it because, oh my god, this is literally like, someone said it was like the Charlotte Tilbury dupe, but I was like, I mean, I know Charlotte Tilbury's expensive, so that's good. And then I've got this, this is the Make Revolution Liquid Powder Pot Blurring Makeup Serum. Um, it's just pink clay and rose, and I don't really like rose normally, but when I use this, I was like, wow. So it's a very different primer to what I've ever used so I definitely want to give this one another go that's why I've kept it in this box. So little random bits like the translucent powder from Makeup Revolution, the conceal and glow foundation, little bits I haven't even opened yet that's what I mean. Like the some brow products from Makeup Revolution again. Oh, I've been wanting this for so long I can't believe I didn't use this yet. This is the um, Hydra Bomb Gloss from Makeup Revolution. I've got some brushes from Makeup Revolution, um, some, some more brushes. And then I've just got some more bits from Essence Cosmetics that I haven't used yet. I need to use this foundation because I don't know what it's going to be like. So now I've got a bag full of makeup that I either just need to use more or don't use often. So I'm going to sort through that later to see what I'm going to do with literally like that's a whole bag of makeup. That is a lot of makeup. It might not look a lot on the camera but it is. I'll show you my camera this time. So this is the first drawer. What it looks like now as you can see it looks so so much better. Then my powder drawer, again, 10 times better. Oh, this one just looks so satisfying now. And then this is so much more organized, thank God. Like I've just really like made sure all oh, this is lip products here and that's eye products rather than just meshing them in. My last drawer is probably the biggest improvement though because like I can't close the drawer. And then this one is just a nice, it's like, it's not messy, it's just, I can't, uh, make it look prettier. And then I've just got some pots on the side up there. Like I said, I've got my, all, all my P. Louise paints and then my P. Louise bases in here. So I can't wait to get the P. Louise competition like massive. Oh my god, when I get that box of like makeup, it's gonna be so good. I think I want to get it like around my like uh, around the time of my birthday as well. So if I get it the week of my birthday, I'm not opening it until my birthday because that can be like a little present to me. It's been a long one. Let me know what you've been doing while watching this video. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I shall see you guys in my next one. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you've done for me, for how you love me.